How you doing, good people? This is the 8-Bit Animal. Okay, so today's game is... This is going to be a fun video. I'll just say that. Because today I get to talk about one of my favorite video games of all time. Clearly one of... Clearly my favorite Super NES title. From... One of the... One of the developer, one of the publishers that did the most for the Super NES, or did the most on the Super NES, I should say, and that's Konami. Um, this title is one of uh, it's it's a shoot 'em up, uh, which is my favorite genre of video game, and it for 1992. Is probably one of the best looking titles on the Super NES. And it still holds up today. Today's game, you know, Axelay. Now, Axelay is, you know, it's a traditional shoot 'em up. There are some pseudo overhead stages that use Mode 7 scrolling and some side scrolling levels. Um,. It follows a traditional, you know, one ship left in a fleet uh, that can stop an alien event, an alien invasion, you know, that whole storyline. And in those instances, there's nothing spectacular about Axelay. Now, where Axelay does stand out is graphical quality it's a beautiful game for a 16-bit era and it still holds up in 2012 um it's sound quality the music in axelay is probably some of the best on the super nes and as far as gameplay and weapons um the controls are tight um the enemies are plentiful, but they aren't, you know, overpowering. The weapon selection is pretty, pretty cool. Um, there are no power-ups in this game. If you, as you beat levels, you acquire new weapons. And at the beginning of each stage, you get to equip a weapon. You get to equip your three weapons, because you start the game with three weapons, and you scroll through them. Um, while playing if you take damage if you don't take a direct hit from it from enemy fire you'll lose the weapon that you have equipped at that time so you could essentially take four hits before you lose a life on that fourth hit you will you know lose a life but actually just had this the the feeling that you get when playing it is just amazing the first time you see that lava boss in the uh, in the fire stage which I be if I remember correctly is stage five um, the first time you go into the underwater stage the giant mech at the end of stage two the chase scene at the end of the game which i don't really want to get into because you know there are people who haven't played this they might feel a way about a spoiler even for a shoot 'em up um actually it's a phenomenal title and it's one of those games that really if you put it up against any other title in that genre it will with the exception of um, sincerely, as, with the exception of a handful, it will pretty much smoke the competition, quality-wise. Um, my copy of Axley, I think, if I remember correctly, I I did a game-for-game game swap at a retro game store years ago for it. I got rid of Tony Hawk Pro Skater and got Axley. So, I mean, if you can find a copy of Axley somewhere... Definitely pick it up. It's available. I know it's available on the Wii Virtual Console. I don't know if those servers are still up at the moment, um, considering that the Wii, um, you know, the Wii is kind of a dead town now. Not really many games get made for it anymore. But no matter where you find it, if you have to uh, emulate it, if you have to 
buy a Super NES to play it, if you can get it on Virtual Console, if it's if Konami decides to put a bunch of their Super Nintendo stuff on a disc and put it on the new and put it out on current gen consoles, you need to play Axley. I don't care how you play it because it's one of those games as far as shoot 'em ups are concerned. That yeah, it's it's truly the high water mark in gaming. This has been the 8-Bit Animal, and I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow.